Hello everybody, welcome back to DD85, Daily Dictation 85. It's very short, only 11 words, but there is one word you probably don't know, so I made it intermediate level. But we'll go there in a little bit. First, we need to go back to DD84. And DD84 was about, ah, very good advice from a movie called Man, oh no, 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 I Love You, Man. It was a guy movie. Did you see the movie? It's stupid, but I liked it. Anyway, let's listen one more time. Trying is having the intention to fail. You gotta scrap that word from your vocab. Say you're gonna do it, and you will. Trying is having the intention to fail. You gotta scrap that word from your vocab. Say you're gonna do it, and you will. Not you guys did a great job. This is pretty difficult. Trying is having the intention to fail. So, trying, and we're actually missing a word. We should say maybe in front of this word, we should add only. Only trying. Just trying is, is the same thing as, is the same as, or the same thing as, having the intention to fail. Having the intention to fail. What does that mean? Having the intention to fail means you want to fail. Trying means you want to fail. Trying means you're not sure. You're not confident. Don't just say, I'm trying. Do it. That's the advice. Now, don't misunderstand. Trying something for the first time is great. But when you're doing something and it's not successful, and someone says, what's wrong? Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. When you say that, trying is having the intention to fail. Having the intent to do something. Having the intent to do something means Wanting, wanting to do something. So trying is, and we could change all of this, wanting to fail. Trying is wanting to fail. Really? He says, you got to scrap the word from your vocab. You got to scrap the word from your vocab. A lot of grammar people uh, they want to add you've. Okay, you can add you've. Yes, properly you've. Gotta, gotta is what? Got to. You have got to. You have got to means you have to. Means you must. It's stronger than you should. You should, well, you should probably, maybe, it's weak. You have to. You must. You have got to. They're all the same. It means you, you have to do something. You must do it. There's no question. You have to. You gotta scrap. This is the verb. You've got to scrap. Scrap means throw away. Get rid of. You've got to scrap the word. What word? Trying. From. Scrap from. So taking something from someplace. From where? From your vocab. Vocab means your vocabulary. Your vocabulary. The words you always use. So if you always say trying, oh, you got to scrap that word from your vocabulary. You've got to get rid of that word from your vocabulary. I can't, I can't. No, scrap that word from your vocabulary. Don't say can't. I will, I will. Don't say trying. I'm trying, I'm trying. No, 
you got to scrap that word from your vocabulary. You got to do it. Say you are going to do it and you will. Say you're. Oh, a lot of students missed this. They said say you. Say you're gonna. Say you're gonna. It's not say you gonna. It's say you're. You're. You gotta get that R sound. Uh, it sounds like Y-E-R. Y-E-R. Which is gonna sound like her. Okay? Her. Huh? Huh? No. Her. Her. Say you're. Say her. Doesn't make sense. Say you're. Say you're gonna. Going to. You know this. Going to. But the American pronunciation. Gonna. We don't say gonna. Some people do. Usually we say gonna. 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 Say you're gonna. Say you're gonna do it. And you will. So the grammar is like. If you say you are going to do it, then you will. If you say you're going to do it, then you will. Be positive. Positive thinking. If you say you are going to do it, then you will. It's good advice. Do you sometimes say, I'm trying, I'm trying. It becomes an excuse. Why don't you do that? Oh, I'm trying. I'm still trying. It's an excuse. You need to scrap that word from your vocabulary. Say you're going to do it, and you will. What about your English? Now, if you're studying with me, you're doing a good job. You're not trying. You're doing. You're doing it. And if you keep doing it, you'll get better and better and better. But maybe you have a friend. Why don't you study English? Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying, but I don't have time. Shut up. You need to scrap that word from your vocabulary. Say you're going to do it, and you will. Good advice. I like the advice. Trying is great. Trying something for the first time is great. But when it becomes an excuse, yeah, it's not that good. I think you would agree. You guys know this. You are already doing something with your English. I respect that. That's great. Nice to meet you because you guys are out there doing things. But if you have a friend that needs this advice, give it to them. And if they want to learn English, send them here. Okay? Now, once again, pronunciation. Trying is having the intention to fail. Trying is having the intention, having the, having the. The faster we say it, it almost sounds like ni, having ni, having ni. Because this ends ng sound will cancel the th. Having the intention, having the intention, having the intention. The faster, having the intention, having the, it sounds like ni, ni. Trying is having the intention to fail. Intention to fail. Intention n. Intention n. Here again, the n cancels the t. We get this n. Perfectly, intention to fail. But nobody says intention to fail. We might say intention d. Intention d. Or intention to. Intention to. Intention to fail. Intention to fail. So this two is usually going to sound like a d or a t. But when we say it really fast, this n can cancel the d or the t. Intention to fail. Intention to fail. Trying is having the intention to fail. Trying is having the intention to fail. You got to scrap. Oh, this was tough. You got to. You got to. But the, the g sound was pretty weak in the audio. You got to. You got to. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta scrap, you gotta scrap the, scrap the, no, but you gotta stop, scrap, scrap the, scrap the, you gotta scrap the word from your vocab, from your vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocab, you gotta scrap the word from your vocab, use body language, you gotta scrap the word from your vocab. You gotta scrap the word from your vocab. 
Say you're going to do it. Get that R sound. Say you're going to do it. Say you're going to do it, and you will. Enya, Enya. Hear the N. Cancels the D. We could say, and you will, and you will. But here, and you will, and you will. Okay? All right, let's say it. Say it together. We're going to say it quickly, all right? So, good luck. Here we go. One, two, three. Trying is having the attention to fail. You got to scrap the word from your vocabulary. Say you're going to do it, and you will. Not vocabulary, vocab. Did you do better than me? Let's say it one more time, slower. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Trying is having the intention to fail. You gotta scrap the word from your vocab. Say you're gonna do it, and you will. Let's listen two more times. Trying is having the intention to fail. You gotta scrap that word from your vocab. Say you're gonna do it, and you will. Trying is having the intention to fail. You gotta scrap that word from your vocab. Say you're gonna do it, and you will. Okay, the next story is from a news article about the United States and North Korea. It's a serious story. North Korea is going to send up a missile or a rocket, and the United States said, okay, we are not going to send you any food. So obviously this is a dilemma and it's very sad for the North Korean people. Anyway, I'm not going to get into politics, but I do have many opinions. Hmm. Anyway, the sentence that you're going to hear is very short and it has one difficult word. I'm guessing you might not know the word. That's why I chose the sentence. It's a great sentence, and I'm not going to give you a hint. You do your best, and I'll give you the answers probably in about 24 hours from the time I upload this video. So, on the calendar, uh, Friday night. Friday night, South Korea time. So, hopefully tomorrow. Anyway. Good luck with the dictation, and uh, I'll say hello to the new subscribers, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Well, that, I think, is the real crux of this issue. Well, that, I think, is the real crux of this issue. Well, that, I think, is the real crux of this issue. Well, that, I think, is the real crux of this issue. Welcome to the family, especially to Alex Marty 23. Alex Marty, Alex Marty 23 from the U.S. Thank you very much. From the U.K., Tefl Tudor. Ooh. Teaching English as a foreign language tutor. Wow. Nice to meet you. You are my competition. Hmm. <laughs> Just joking. Thank you very much for joining my channel. Ooh, from Saudi Arabia. Shukran. To 111 Al Shekhri. Shekhri. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sherry. It's not Sherry. I'm guessing Shekhri. Shekhri. I apologize for the bad pronunciation. Al Shahri, Al Shahri, thank you for joining. Shokran. From Vietnam, we have Lin H17792. Viet you know what? I don't know Vietnamese, so let, let's study together. I'll, I'll talk here. Vietnam, how do you say thank you in Vietnamese? How do you say thank you in Vietnam? Ah, here we go. Gam un. Gam un. Is that right? That's what I'm seeing here. Gam un. I hope that's correct. Thank you for joining my channel. I gotta write this down. I gotta check and write it down. I should have been prepared. From France. Bonjour. Bonjour. 
Bonjourno, no, bonjour. Bonjour to Arnaud7187. Arnaud, Arnaud, Arnaud. Thank you very much for joining my channel. Bonjour. Merci beaucoup. From the U.S. again, Mimi Dirds One. Mimi Dirds One from the U.S. Hmm, I don't know where you're from, so I will just say thank you very much. From Brazil, obrigado. Yeah, I like Brazilian barbecues. Hmm. Uh, we have Aninha, Aninha Romao. Aninha Romao from Brazil, obrigado. Thank you very much for joining. From the Czech Republic. All right, Mr. Zon YT, Mr. Zon YT from the Czech Republic. He's from Prague. Now, the American pronunciation is Prague. I live in South Korea, and the Koreans say Praha, Praha. So, what is the Czech pronunciation? It's not Prague, is it? Is it Praha, Praha? I'm curious. Uh, anyway, thank you, Mr. Zahn YT, for joining my channel. And Mr. Zahn has a cool expression. What school did he go to? He's too cool for school. Too cool for school. That's funny. I like that. Okay, again from Brazil. Obrigado to Lucy 5 Mera. Is it Lucy or Luci? 5 Mera or Mara? Anyway, thank you very much for joining the channel. From Italy, grazie, to, oh, how do I read this? Caipirinha, Caipirinha, 2011. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From the U.S., what's this? Pray, pray, 55, net, Sarah, fa. Huh. This is, again, one of the longest usernames I've ever seen. Thank you for joining my channel. And from Korea, Pangapsnida, to Ndio, 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 thank you for joining the channel. Everybody, I appreciate it. Thank you for joining. Watch the videos. Ask your questions. Tell your friends. Let's make the channel bigger and better. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.